So I'm hoping they're just going to come out into the open area. They seem to be, there we go, there's one walking there. Absolutely beautiful, look at that corkscrew horn there. And just keeping a listen out with those satellite dish ears. Oh, okay, we'll go over the mound. <laughs> I was going to say, that's not a usual way I'd have expected the kudu to go. We'll go around the mound. That's more sensible. Too much energy going up and over. So we saw the Nyala earlier, and I think you might have seen the kudu that was very well camouflaged. So these are the kudu bulls. We tried to have a look for how heavy the horns are, and I seem to remember looking up that information, but I think it must have been in a book because we can't find anything in papers or on the internet. So if anyone does find how heavy they can get to, it seems to be a, one piece of information that is just not available, but I'm sure I have looked it up in the past, so I'll have to check my books when I get home. I'm wondering what he's hearing. Well, whatever it is, he's not too phased by it. Steffi also saying she loves the horns. They are, I think they're, they're some of the most spectacular horns in the bush. And again, you can see that the large lump on the neck, which helps to counteract the weight of those horns. And so if you look for the nuchal lump just here, uh, as, we, as he was disappearing into the bush, because those horns, they've got to be pretty weighty. I'm kind of thinking maybe around the 30 kilo mark, but uh, as I say, we might have to try and do a lot more digging to try and find that out. So we're gonna carry on down towards uh, Twin Dams, but I've got another who dung it for you in the meantime. So if I actually, the, try and squash it a little bit.